Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to an episode of Sneaker Firm. Today I got another exciting review for you guys. This time around it's going to be on the Off-White um, Nike Zoom Kiger 5. Now these did release a few weeks ago. They did release in three different colorways. You had this black and pink color. You got the white and green color which I wasn't able to grab. And then you had this green colorway as well. Stay tuned because I'll be doing a separate video for this pair. But for right now, we're going with this one. So basically what happened is Virgil did a collab on the Nike Zoom Kiger where he added his own touches to the sneaker. And to be honest with you, up until this point, I had never heard of this sneaker model at all. To be honest with you, I just kind of got the sneaker because I thought it looked kind of funky. There was a lot of hype behind it and I wanted to give you guys a review on it in case you guys wanted to buy it. So the Kiger model is kind of made for hiking or if you're going jogging or walking or running in any kind of uneven terrain. This is what this sneaker was made for. There are a few different touches um, and things that Virgil did on the sneaker that are slightly different than the retail um, version of it. Um, but other than that, most of the sneakers are pretty much the same. The sneaker did retail for 180. I'm not sure what the normal version goes for. If you know, let me know in the comment box below. But enough talking, let's get into the sneaker. So starting off with the outsole, you got this funky neon pink outsole with these spikes. Once again, this is a terrain sneaker, um, but I believe on this particular off-white collab model, the spikes are just a tad bigger than what they would normally be. If you can see that right there, you got your all black midsole, which is zoom branding on the side. Going on to the upper, you got this hairy new buck material, which is real fuzzy, going all around the sneaker. Also, you got hits of like a black nylon material. You got your white Nike swoosh going on the side panel with this little orange tab. On the toe box, you got a black Nike swoosh. On the medial side, you got a silver Nike swoosh in like a foil material. Then you got your off-white branding towards the back heel tab here. White Nike air branding on the heel. So the sneaker does have two sets of laces. The first pair being a black rope lace, which is hits a 3M going all around the lace. And then you got your white flat lace underneath the sneaker. Sorry, underneath the black lace. Sorry about that. Um, and then they both say shoelace towards the end of it. As you can see right there. Then you got the off-white uh, signature zip tab and the fuzzy green like material. It's kind of, feels kind of weird honestly. You got your yellow insole, um, which your black Nike swoosh, white collar. You got the black mesh tongue with your Nike tab here. And once again, the Nike tongue does have that distressed look like every off-white um, sneaker tends to have. And with that being said, I'm gonna give you guys an up close look at the sneaker right now. And that's all I really have for these guys. Definitely a funky sneaker in my opinion. One that if you wear out in public, I think you'll turn a lot of heads, uh, especially with these spikes. Um, Cause like I said, this is supposed to be a terrain sneaker. So seeing people wear these like at the mall or something, um, they'd probably look at you weird, which is okay I guess. Cause I feel like most of the trends right now that are going on are kind of like funky. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just not for me. Like I said, I kind of just picked these sneakers up for review purposes. Um, once I'm done doing reviews, I'm probably going to put them on my site, thesneakerfirm.net. So stay tuned and stay posted on that site because I will be putting this pair and the green pair on there as well. Um, I'm not looking to get a crazy resale for it. Um, I'm probably just going to do the retail plus ship. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not too sure yet. Um, we'll see, so stay tuned. I got a few more things on the way, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, and like always guys, thanks for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.